February. Let's take a look at what happened yesterday and what will happen today. Um, first and foremost, we'll go to stocks. Really did not do too much. We've got a lower low down at 84, uh, 83 and a quarter to be exact. And so now we have a lower low, lower high. Still okay as far as our turn call is being called. We did scrimp up to uh, 2803. I did not sell any up there because I'm very conscious of uh, having some powder dry if we do take a visit to 2820 when the trade announcement is done with China or whatever. So we're still trading at a better average here and we have sort of some structures on downside structures uh, through options to basically express uh, our downside opinion here. This gets super interesting below 66 so it seems far but it's not really that far. This point here we find uh, is going to be quite telling 2766 so let's just keep an eye on that. We're at 91 today keeping our powder dry core short plus structures. In the currency world, Euro Yen, we're waiting, waiting, waiting. 73 now is an interesting point from yesterday. One, two, three uh, hourly lows. This little death knock situation here is from the break up. Um, I don't like the fact that this sort of death knock line is here. Uh, I need to be aware of that. This sort of horizontal is, is more, more what people are going to um, people are going to be watching. Um, so maybe your first sell through dollar yeah through your yen is through 73, and then we're waiting for for 33 still. Um, these four daily lows. We're keeping an eye on boons. They didn't really collaborate yesterday. They were lower. Now we're just sitting here doing nothing. These are the dailies. You can see how the boon volatility has gone way, way down. Ideally, for this year, we enter really turn one boons up through 166.80. So, watching these uh, euro yen levels today 70 for a little starter, and then through, um, through 33 uh, for, for normal amounts. So, this is something that we're really focused on, still focused on, uh, we have been the last couple of days. Let's take a quick look at dollar CAD, back down at 131.61. Um, we like picking up dollar CAD down here. We talked about this yesterday of trying to get dollar CAD uh, in this 65 region. Waited all day and then dollar CAD sort of collapsed as at the fix, uh, or after the fix, when cable went ballistic, uh, and euro started going higher. But we do like dollar CAD, just buying some cheap ones here with a, going to keep an eye on oil, try and time this a little bit. Oil above 56 bucks is not great. What we really would prefer is oil below sort of say 55.80. Uh, but CAD looks cheap here in this sort of 60 down to even down to 20. Um, we're not exactly sure on the trigger here, but we will be looking to dip our toes in. Cable really set itself up uh, for a wham banger now. Look at this consolidation basically from 133 down to sort of 125. Uh, it's been six months. Brexit looks like it's going to be canceled or postponed or, you know, I don't know what's happening, but from a technical perspective, 133 is massively important. Um, no reason we don't, we don't attack that level today. I am not recommending trading cable. Um, it's kind of the new dollar turkey. It's just a little bit hysterical and slippery. It's like kind of trying to catch a greasy chicken or something. I don't know. Um, but this looks very constructive. So if you want to wade in there, there is some money to be made because there is volatility. Uh, 
um, and if you feel like you're in tune with cable uh, and you're looking for triggers and places to keep an eye on whether it be stops uh, 132 uh, oh really 133 above 133 now because there will be people selling into 133 and then there'll be a lot of medium term and long people term people stopping out above 133. I don't even, I wouldn't even say keep your eye on the headlines, but keep your eye on Twitter, um, from Parliament, from May, from all of these idiots. Uh, it's, it's tough. Uh, it's tough figuring out like, who to follow and who knows what's going on in Brexit, because nobody knows what's going on. Um, but anyway, 133, big big time level in cable. What else we got out there? Dollar Yen slipped down. We, we kind of called that yesterday, right? We were saying, yeah, Dollar Yen's looking a little bit wobbly going into Powell. Powell did not trigger it. That was nothing. But we did uh, zip down to a 40 there. So we took out all these stops below 55. And if you look at these, made a new daily low. But we also have to just stay calm because this sort of big red bar after big green bar, we've seen this pattern a little bit, and it's basically just like dollar yen is stuck. This isn't like a trending pair, it's just stuck on 110, so I wouldn't get too carried away with dollar yen. Uh, we clipped some coupons there and made a little bit of money uh, late last night, but we just got out of it and uh, moving on. There's really no trend to be had here. Uh, our main focus, as far as yen is concerned, is on euro yen, uh, as this expresses our, our worries about what's going on here in the mainland. So, anyway, um, core short stocks, looking at this euro yen, we're going to try and scoop up some dollar CAD here between 40 and 60. Uh, we got Canadian CPI today, so be aware of that. That's important. Um, vitamin speaking, German head of the Buba Bank, Bundesbank. Uh, a couple auctions in Europe, not too important. And then you have uh, Chairman Powell testifying again today. The question and answer, I guess, is worth listening to. It was such a dud yesterday, and maybe it'll be a surprise today. But listen, folks, this is part of the business. You have to be on point and ready for action for these events. You never know uh, if, it, if it's going to trigger stuff or not. So 4 p.m. Swiss time uh, is Powell. That's all I got for you today. I uh, wish you guys the best. Make some money out there. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.